Hi guys, welcome back to a new brand video and you are watching Backup Amazing! I hope uh, you guys are doing great and thank you so much for your love and support uh, to my YouTube channel and I hope uh, you also have gone through my previous videos uh, and you must have found it informative. So the main agenda to create the videos is to just transfer my knowledge which I have on Backup Solution with you guys. So if you guys are new to the channel, please do not forget to subscribe my channel and also share the videos with your friends and family uh, which is going to help us uh, to make a wider audience also somebody has said that sharing is caring so please share my videos as much as possible in your connections so today this video which i am creating is basically on the public demand so what happening is uh, you guys are learning from world uh, solution through my videos but once you decide uh, to do the practical by your own self then you are not able to find the software download link and unfortunately uh, on YouTube there is no such videos available on this topic. Then I decided why not to create a video on such a serious issue uh, which my viewers are facing. So guys here you go. Today we are going to learn how to download Commvault backup software. So without wasting our time uh, let's just start uh, to check out the steps to download the Commvault software. Wow. So step first is you have to open your web browser so let me click so guys uh, just for your information there is only two websites from there uh, you can download the software so let's start with the first uh, website so first is cloud.combo.com so you need to type cloud.combo.com and press enter uh, you can see uh, there is an option of member login and register so if you are already a member uh, then you just need to click on log member login so once you click, it will ask the credentials. So once you provide the credentials, you will be able to uh, log in on this website. But if you are new to the, this website, you need to register. So here you will get an option to register. So once you click on register, so this page is going to create an account and also it will register your version 10 and version 11 console. So here you need to uh, provide your first name, last name, email ID, password and confirm password. So guys, this is going to be very important uh, if you are a Commvault customer or if you have a Comcel ID, then only uh, you will able to register uh, yourself on this website. So here you can see it is asking for a valid Comcel ID, Comcel IP address, registration code and serial number, which is only available to a Commvault customer or if you having a production Comcel environment. So sorry guys, if you are not a Commvault customer or if you do not have the console ID, then you will not able to register yourself in this website. Uh, therefore, uh, you will not able to download the software. Guys, there is no need to be sad once your backup Baba is here. So I have something alternate uh, for you all uh, to download the software. So before that, uh, let's um, move to login on this website and let's see how to download the software. So clicking back. So here uh, you have to provide your username. So let me provide my username. Sorry, I cannot disclose my user ID. So that's why I'm hiding it. You will be land up to the download center so in the download center uh, you have to come to the service pack 30 so in the left hand side you can see uh, there is an option of 11.30 so you just need to click on there yeah so on this page you can see there is multiple options but you need to select the second one that is combo platform release 2023 so here uh, we need to click on download button so once you click on download uh, and exe uh, around 20 MB is going to be downloaded. So let me click on download. So basically uh, this CXA is going to be a downloader uh, which will help to download the Commvault complete setup. Yeah, so here you can see uh, download has been completed uh, with the name Commvault Media underscore 11 underscore 30 dot exe. So let me click on show in folder. Yeah, so here you can see an exe has been downloaded. You can also call him downloader. So 
uh, let's uh, try to uh, download the main software so here you need to just click on run as administrator and it is asking uh, for the destination folder to extract this uh, installer so let me click on extract uh, let me close the background windows so here uh, it is asking to choose the language so you can choose the language as per your country preference so i am keeping it default and click next let me click on i agree and clicking next so here uh, in the installation type you will get two options either you want to install package on this computer or if you want to download the package to install on a different computer so we are downloading this package uh, to install on the different computer so we are selecting the second option and clicking next so once you click next here you can see uh, you will get the multiple operating systems option so if you want to download windows software so you just need to select windows 64 if you want to download windows 32 you just need to select it if you also want to download the unix software that is the linux one so here you can select this one and you can choose the flavor like for which you want to download so if you having the red hat or something you can choose this one and if you are using aix ppc or linux ppc so you can select this one if you're having the mac so for the mac uh, you need to select this one and also there is three different uh, optional option so if you want to download the windows os update so you can check this one if you want to download the unix or os appliances update so you can select this second option if you also want to download the microsoft sql server update so you can uh, select the third option also so last three options are optional if you want to select you can select it otherwise uh, you can uncheck this one also so let me uncheck this one and click next so here uh, it is asking to select the maintenance relay this is just the hotfix so in this i'm uh, keeping the default one that is the latest maintenance release and clicking next uh, so either if you are a new customer or you are going to do a fresh installation you can just go with the default option that is include ms sql server for new installation and click next so here uh, you need to provide the path uh, where the software will get downloaded so i'm keeping the default one you can either uh, just click on here browse and you can choose your directory either if you want to keep it on c or d or e so i'm keeping it default and clicking next also if you want to change the name uh, you can just rename this path cv version 11 service pack 30 and i'm clicking next so here it is asking uh, that if you are uh, downloading the unix package so do you want to create a tar uh, for that unix package so you can also select this option and i'm clicking next so you can see a uh, create custom package has been started uh, that is helping to download the files for 64 bit 32 bit and whatever linux packages which we have selected so once you comes in the c directory you can see a folder name with the cv version 11 service pack 30. so here you can see the download process has started so guys uh, just for your information uh, the download size of the windows 64 bit is around 13 gb and uh, for the 32 bits uh, it is around 4 to 5 gb and for if you if you are going to download the whole unix package uh, then it is also going to be around 10 gb so here we have selected uh, 64 bit 32 bit and some packages of the unix flavor so my download uh, size will be around 25 gb so please keep this information in your mind uh, that you must have a good internet speed and also have a broadband connection available to download the whole software so let me close this guys uh, because i have already downloaded the software so i don't want uh, to download again and again so i am uh, clicking on close button so this will going to interrupt the download process yeah
and I am also going to delete the software folder so you can see how much is yeah so till now it has downloaded only 60 MB so let me delete this folder also yeah so guys coming to the main point uh, what if you do not have uh, the access of the cloud.combo.com so no worries guys I have an alternate option for all of you so what so what I will do I will upload that particular exe on my google drive and I will share uh, the link of that particular directory in my comment box wow. so from there uh, you will be able to access my google drive and from there you can download the exe and also please do not forget to say me thanks in the comment box so that's all for in this video guys i hope uh, you have found this video informative and please do not forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like and say thanks in the comment box Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care. Goodbye.